Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samox Code. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create a um, bar chart inside your JavaFX application. So from the previous tutorial, we learned how to use pie chart, how you could, you know, add events to your pie chart. And in this video, guys, as I've said, we're going to look at how we could add bar chart inside our JavaFX application. So I have here, um, I already created the project bar chart and I'm just going to open up the main.fxml file for now. And then we're gonna add the bar chart into our JavaFX um, anchor pane layout. So this is the default layout and I'm just going to remove all the um, elements added here the button and the label so i'm just going to delete this and resize the anchor pane to our preferred size say for example like this and then i'm going to search for the bar chart element right here and drag and drop it to the anchor pane okay so the anchor pane guys we could set the title say for example um usage uh, statistics basically we're just going to display some uh, statistics right here so for example number of visits per device so for example desktop, uh, desktop mobile phone or tablet or something so basically um, bar chart we do have uh, access or access to this so we have the category axis and of course number axis so if you try to click on the number axis right here you can say it is the vertical um, value right here the numbers right here and of course guys we could we could set the label for this so for example um, usage or number of visits okay visits and of course we could also um, set the FX ID of this so this sh should be um, visits or number of visits number access so it's NA and then visits okay and then of course we could do the same for the category access right here we could set the value for example or I mean the label for example um, device okay and then of course we could set also the FX ID this is category so CA and then devices okay and of course guys there are also options for our bar chart you could um, toggle the animation here the the position of your title so for example bottom right or uh, on top and then of course you have the style you have or i mean the legend side the bar gap the category um, gap we also have different options that you could you know enable or disable right here so for now let's just save our main.fxml file and then go back to our netbeans ide and then we could update the controller by using this uh, option right here make the controller so it's going to include all the necessary um, elements that we have added from our fxml um, file so in uh, the initialize method we could set the data of our you know bar chart so as you can see here we don't have the bar chart because we need to add it from our um, fxml file also we need to set the fx id so that's bar chart okay bar chart so we could use this fx id and then we could set the data into our uh, you know bar chart so again go back to our bar chart project and then update the controller it should now include the bar chart so the bar chart should have the type um, string and then the number okay 
So basically, this is the combination for our label and of course the value for that particular label. So if you want to work with the um, bar chart, we need to have okay. the uh, what they call this series. Okay, so we need to add series inside our um, bar chart. So that's why we need to define a series right here and in order for us to do that we could add the xy um, chart and then series and then we're going to specify the type which is the string and then number so this is series okay or data series and then equals new xy chart and then say series right here and then of course open and close parentheses okay and of course in here we could set the name of this particular series so for example series and then set name it should be equal to um, device comparison something device comparison okay and then of course you could set the data by using the series object so series and then get data and then add so the first one will be add yeah add and then we could set the new xy chart data here xy chart and then that data and of course it's going to take two parameters the um, string and the number so for example desktop the first device is desktop and then the value for example the usage is 63 and then of course we could do uh, more elements or more data inside our uh, series and then later on we will add this series into our bar chart so for example this one will be tablet and number of usage so for example 53 or 51 and then mobile we could uh, say here 27 okay and then right after that we could again set the data into our bar chart so what we could do is use the bar chart um, variable and then get data and then of course add the series that we have added okay so we could save our project and then clean and build and then run so it should display this particular um, bar chart with all the labels and title so usage statistics and then we have the number of visits right here so we set the number of usage for our desktop equal to 63 I think right 63 so that's how or that's the value right here and then tablet equals to 51 and um, 27 for our mobile device Okay. and again guys this is what we call the series we could add different series right here okay so for example we could define another series okay we could get that we could set this to series 2 and then of course we could use the same um, the same logic that we have you know adding the values or data into our series so instead of series it should say uh, series 2 and then uh, we're going to declare here another type of data for example the um, this is for for example Mac devices or Apple 
Apple computers, Apple device, something. And this will be for Windows um, devices. So basically what we're trying to do here is to add a bar chart that could measure the number of usage per device per platform so Apple and Windows devices so number of usage for example for desktop in Windows since there are like more users for Windows devices so 89 and then tablet for example 40 and then the mobile is for example 24 and then we could also add the series to the bar chart so series 2 right here right there. okay so we need to change the method into add all instead of add okay and then save the project clean and build we need to close this first so clean and build and then run our project once again so it should uh, say here the or update the display of our um, bar chart so we have here the comparison between Apple devices and Windows uh, devices the usage so statistics and I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below we will try to answer your queries right away if we like have the answer to your questions and guys thank you again for watching and see you in the next video